He has been described as a great disciplinarian, a shrewd administrator, a loving father, and a cherished husband. He transcended every barrier to become one of the iconic leaders in our country. He is a man of immense sagacity and exceptional spirituality. Join us as we explore the exemplary life of the Most Reverend Ephraim Adebola Ademowo, Officer of the Order of Niger, Fellow, Nigeria Academy of Letters, Doctor of Philosophy. Yes, thou a man diligent in his business, he should stand before kings and not before mean men. These words can summarily describe Ephraim Adebola Ademowo, officer of the Order of Niger, a bishop of the Anglican Communion in the Sea of Lagos, and also the Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Lagos. His Grace, the Archbishop Adimowo, is a highly principled man who started out early in life to fulfill the Lord's calling on his life. He was born into the family of late Chief Bolade Ademowo and Chief Mrs. Caroline Ademowo on July 29, 1948. His father was the Bale of Odegogo, a village in Ilugun, Alaro, near Ijebode, Ogun State, Nigeria. Abato Bigogo was a teacher, headmaster in primary schools. The young Adebola, or Bola, as is called by close family members, attended St. Jude's School in Butemeta. He also had his secondary education in Nebelkuta and Lagos. I attended St. Jude's Primary School in Butemeta from 1957 to 1964. Mm -hmm. I met Archbishop Adibola Adimowo. He came to join us uh, where in 1961 when his father became the assistant head teacher in the school. As a child, he was a very lovable person who cares about other children. He would always show concern about the welfare of his friends, a trait that has been with him until now. After his secondary education, he joined the Ministry of Health as a clerical officer. Archbishop Ephraim Adebola Ademowo had since childhood determined to serve the Lord even though the wish of his parents, especially his mother, was to become a medical doctor so that he would take care of her in her old age. <laughs> But like the young Samuel in the temple, Adebola was able to recognize the voice of the Lord early and began to desire a closer relationship with him. So during the Kesri Convention at St. Jude's Church, Ebutemeta, Lagos, in July 1968, Adebola Ademowo, then 20 years old, gave his life to the Lord Jesus. At this time, he was a choir boy and a strong member of the Boys' Brigade. Being a member of the chorister, Whenever the uh, attention of the choristers are needed, he must be there. To the extent that during the week, you know, that time we used to have Kess Week uh, revival. He would make sure that he would always be there. You know, he's, that time the Kess Week convention used to be for one week and he would attend. He was very good at playing the trumpet in the brigade. This was made possible by his always being around the church premises taking advantage of the proximity of his residence at 101 Lagos Street, Ibutimeta. <music> Having received the call to the ordained ministry, the Most Reverend Adebola Ademowo wrote the entrance examination into the famous Emmanuel College of Theology, Ibadan. <laughs> Very 
Quando ho mai chiesto con quello che si non è il collegio, mi parlo. Ah, va bene, quel lui va a un nome e lo si prende, lo soffre, la barba, lo va a vedere, lo va a soffrire, e lo sa in giro. E c'è tutto, c'è tutto il mondo, ma c'è, a ti parla. Baba, as the Archbishop is fondly called by many people, was at Emmanuel College of Theology, Ibado, between September 1969 and June 1972. He was reputed to be exceptionally neat, and as a result, he was nicknamed Shine by both lecturers and students. I need him to be very neat all the time, well dressed. And he would take his time to dress himself up. He wouldn't go out shabbily. Even when we went out for what we call work aid, his dressing would be different. He, uh, he would dress neatly and immediately we fin finished. We we'll go and have his shower. And, uh, and whenever he dressed, especially in the afternoon, he has a long, you know, standing hair. And the standing hair will just stand individually. And they will be shining black. And his shoes ever polished. And with all this, we call him shy. Because his hair, his dressing, everything about him. Um, I will add that even in his attitude, he will shine. You won't find him talking rubbish or cracking useless jokes. And once you are going beyond what he could take, he will just tell you, stop that, stop that. And once he started telling you that, you know that. He couldn't take it anymore, so he, he got us to stop. While he was at a theological college, it was testified of him that he was very responsible, dependable, studious, easygoing, respectful, and honest. These qualities made him to be appointed twice as the officer in charge of food. He was always in a good relationship with uh, other students. Always humble, playful, but to a limit. Once you see him, you know that this man is disciplined. And uh, we covered that in him. At graduation, he won the coveted prize as a best student in pastoralia in the college. At a solemn ordination service at St. James's Cathedral Church, Ibado, the then Ordinand Ephraim Ademowo was made a deacon by the Right Reverend Timothy Omotayo Olufosoye on 2nd July 1972. The Right Reverend Olufosoye, who later became the first Archbishop of Nigeria, ordained Daddy Ademowo a priest at the St. James's Cathedral, Ibado, on 1st July 1973. <music> Now that is turning, it has come to this diamond age of 60 years. We pray that his God and our God will give him grace to live the full length of his life in God's own land of the living, in good health, in sound mind, in the peace and the joy of the Lord. The grace may you enjoy many, 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 many are prosperous. Glorious, peaceful, successful, and progressive years. First in God's ministry, in your retirement, and to the very end. If you continue to be well with you, in Jesus' name. I want to wish Papa a very happy birthday, many happy returns, and uh, pray also that God will continue to strengthen our Mama to be able to provide the needed support encouragement for his birthday will be a birthday of monumental in his language achievement that the lord will bless him that the lord will bless our mommy that the lord will bless 
his children. In his birthday, these children will continue to remember the good work of their father and his grace will never bury his children. Young Reverend Adebola Ademowo was posted to St. John's Church in Loro, Elisha, in the old western region of Nigeria. He will later spend 28 years of pastoral service in Ijesha land. On his arrival at Elisha, he served as a curate under Venerable J.A.I. Falokbe, a man who had so much influence on him. Baba, today we will tell you, Baba Falokbe, Bishop Falokbe, who fell to be a mobi binu. Bishop Falokbe is somebody that is not just my husband, all of us. He, Baba was a man of God to the core. Every time I remember him, I just give God the glory. Because even my own spirituality to the glory of God, at the time I was with him, I grew with Baba and Mama. Yeah wonderful prayer warriors must is every day of their life they must be up at 3 a.m to pray for everybody so this is the kind of man that he worked with first in the ministry he was his curate and also was the uh, husband was his chaplain for six years and so you can imagine the the influence that will have on him when Venerable Falokwe eventually became the first bishop of Elisha Anglican Diocese, Archbishop Ademowo served as a chaplain to Bishop Falokwe for six years. In the words of Right Reverend Adebayo Akinde, the Lord Bishop of Lagos Mainland, the Most Reverend Ademowo was an exceptional chaplain. The then Reverend Ephraim Adebayo Ademowo was Papa Falokwe's chaplain. And it struck me easily all through that service, the valedictory service, the way he conducted the affairs of Papa Farope was exceptionally good. The first port of call of the Most Reverend Adebola Ademo as a parish vicar was at St. Peter's Anglican Church, Ishono, Elisha, from 1977 to 1984. He arrived here on October 5, 1977. And what had just happened here then was that there was a uh, serious storm, a tornado that blew off the roofs of the vicarage. And he was transferred here at that point in time. And that didn't uh, stop him from uh, starting his, uh, I mean, continuing his ministry here. And he saw that as a challenge and went into action. And that is what uh, uh, you are seeing today. You have seen the edifice of the church building that is here today, uh, as well as the vicarage over there. baba <laughs> Chaplain, Baba Falope. So, before the show, I shall be a sea. I want to be a sea lock, so Baba Falope. Can't you keep a far polo don't want? Can you have one neck on? Can you have a she is in for a man? What if I am one day? A little like you, and a bit like your estate in the morning. So, my man was the church, you are the judge Sunday. I'm bad. I'm so sharp, eh? No, I'm bad. Ben won't be. Come, come to a fool. I love you. Be a little bit sharp, punch your belly. 
Unfortunately for him, there was an accident. But when the accident was not able to see if it But when the mom was there, Baba was also there, and he was 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 there. So he was born, 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 he was preferred canon in 1981 and an archdeacon in 1983 by the Right Reverend G. I. O. Olajide. He was my archdeacon at at Akumosa, uh, at the Kiri. I was at the Kiri, though, he was at the show. He later served as a vicar of St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Ijebu Jesha, an archdeacon of Ijebu Jesha Archdeaconry from 1984 to 1989. When I was posted to uh, SLK, St. Paul's Anglican Church, SLK, in 1986, he was the archdeacon of Jebujisha then. I was his staff secretary. So he was Adikin and chairman, and I was his secretary. So we were very, very close. As an Adikin, Papa Demowo, then very young, and very dynamic, indefatigable, and um, erudite. He's, he's well, I saw him as a well, uh, highly learned um, Adikin among the others. And he was very friendly with all of us as members of his staff. And I saw him as a, an epitome of a fatherhood. Mommy, <laughs> In 1989, Daddy Ademowo was elected the Lord Bishop of Elisha Anglican Diocese. He was consecrated at the Cathedral Church of Christ Lagos on 24th February 1989. And during his 10 years of episcopacy, a lot of monumental achievements were recorded. He did a lot in this diocese that we can never, never forget him. In the area of evangelism, is an evangelist to the core. He started Jesus Celebration and rural evangelism, village evangelism, and many physical structures. He built it in the diocese. And the youth camp at uh, Ipetu Ijesha, he was the one that started it. And when you get to the youth camp center, you'll be amazed. No, from what you will see there, but all the buildings there, and not only that, he discovered that he created a standard, he built a standard for this diocese. It was during his tenure that this diocese, known as a diocese of evangelism, focused diocese, and he built with priests up that we should be holy, upright, and we should be conscientious in whatever we are doing. All around that, we must say that the man has done a lot that we cannot forget him. In the year 2000, the Most Reverend Ephraim Adebola Ademowo was translated to the Diocese of Lagos and was also appointed the Archbishop of the Old Province One upon the retirement of the Most Reverend Joseph Abiodu Adetiloye, who was the primate of all Nigeria. On his arrival in Lagos Diocese, he had no problem settling down and integrating 
into the cosmopolitan nature of the oldest diocese in Nigeria. Didn't have any problems settling down in Lagos at all because he, he came in uh, he came in on the 20th of um, March 2000 and by 21st we had the the um, the enthronement by 22nd he was in the office and he started his work somebody that doesn't believe that somebody is after him somebody is not cooperating with him he, he, he will always say you do your work and let people judge you by what you do so he he, he didn't have any problem settling down and he's somebody that will never complain doesn't complain about anything he won't start to grumble he will just do whatever he could do and he will just carry on so when he came in he started his work he believed that he has come to lagos to work and he started just like that the information or misinformation which we had before he actually finally arrived in Lagos was uh, enough to scare any feeble-minded person away from him. But when he came, there, he left no one in doubt as to what he wanted and what he did not want. Archbishop Ademowo is a source of inspiration and encouragement to all and sundry. He has touched so many lives and his generosity is incomparable. The real Adebola Adebola is a heart of Jeremy, love and peace. He only will not compromise the very best in the service of the living God. Baby, what? Oh, she has half time, baby. Oh, I be mini joke and only mommy only. Only shall we do my own land day. Lossy, Ilay, ah, mommy, I did my one. Me, Ranja, boo, we can't show, can't I can't come for Lossy, but when you kill your jackal sobe, we don't bear any time. They're bad, they be air bowing day. We found by my saying, they want to say, she's a cool one, she's a cool one, but I look back on my day, I'm my day. Money, I don't know, no place if one. Assessment every year. Kio chain sonton on son half. Then she dada fun. Funi o chief dada fun an dish. Omo gidini. I wish our papa many many years. On the land of, in the land of the living, strength, health, that he should live to see his children's children, and as he used to pray for other lagoons of blessings, this is also a wish for him that he should continue to live and rejoice, be successful, be more successful in his ministry, to have a more fulfilled ministry. I wish him well, I wish him God's blessing, I wish him many, many more years in Lord's Vineyard, and he will continue to flourish spiritually. God will continue to bless him and his family. He will see many, many years to come in the name of Jesus. I'm glad you have come here. 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 In 1971, at the request of the then Bishop of Ikiti Diocese, the Right Reverend J. A. Adetiloye, students from Emmanuel College of Theology, Ibado, were sent to the diocese on evangelistic mission. Ordinant Adebola Ademo was sent to Iworoko, Ikiti, a village few kilometers away from Adoikiti, the present capital of Ikiti State. There, he spent one week of inspiring and spirited evangelism and also met the charming daughter of his host, Oluroti Denywa. I met my husband, the most reverend Dr. Adebola Ademowo, in 1971, precisely September 19, 
September 1971 at Iwuruko. Uh, my father was in Iwuruko as at that time, was a minister in the Anglican Communion, was at Iwuruko in 1971. And my husband came around for evangelism program because as at that time the Bishop of Ekiti, the retired primate of Nigeria, the then right reverend, now the most reverend, Aditi Louis, invited some uh, uh, some students of Emmanuel College to assist in evangelism in Ekiti diocese. And so it was one of the um, students that came around. So was posted to Iwuruku and then I was in Iwuruku by Providence actually because I shouldn't be around around that time but I was around and he came for the program. That was when we met. I was there assisting him, leading the choruses, doing a lot of... We were working together that one week. We actually worked together during the um, crusade. When he left uh, Iwuruku, and resumed back in school. He now wrote a letter um, proposing to me, actually, and I wrote him back that I don't think I'm for that kind of thing. You know, actually, I said that I thought you came for evangelistic program, so I don't know what you are up to now. And so I wrote him back that even. Presently, as at that time, I told him that I wasn't ready for that kind of thing in the next 10 years. Me at Sadi Mowo, now Miss De Iwa, Mbanye, a close, I'm a John Lo Fellowship, Bible study. Toba to Jeppe, Mbati, Kanto Mari, Bi Nawa, Tamu, Kongwa, Sister, best brother, Mireo. So I'm a function, ah, best brother, best brother. So by the grace of God, I just shared planning and wedding in 1976. By the grace of God, I mean, she wedding cake. On July 31, 1976, the relationship between Reverend Adebola Ademowo and Miss Olunroti Denywa was consummated in a holy matrimony and has since been blessed with five children. A lot of other children were also brought up by Baba and Mama Ademowo, and this testifies to the accommodating and caring nature of this great couple. I can say that is a very generous father. He's very kind. He is always concerned about one's welfare, and every time we get to talk because he's always busy. But the few, the times that we get to talk and sit down and talk together, he always has good words, encouraging words for me. And likewise, my younger ones, is always concerned about how we're doing. How we're faring. Daddy is such a wonderful man. He's been personally, he's been there for me over the years. I've learned to talk with him. He listens to me, and it's just too wonderful. I don't have a word exactly to describe how he is to me. And you know, even for everybody, he's been he's been like a father to everybody. I can say he has so many girls, although I'm still the only girl. But he's got so many girls that everybody I've learned to appreciate him. He's a father to us. He's a father to all of us, all of us, because in terms of everything, he's a father to all of us, and we see him as our father, and he's even the father of the house now. That's why the father is the father of his immediate, he's still the father of the entire Ademo clan, and that's the way we see him, and that's the way we've been relating with him, and the relationship has been cordial. He's a great man, a loving father, generous way forth, and the children are so committed, so humble, so faithful. I must say that the family is an example, 
exemplary family to us. And we must say that we are actually following his footsteps. He's having a very good family. The wife is an inspiration to us, to the society, to the church of God. A pillar of strength even to Adimabo's family and a very prayerful family. And the children are very, very committed and they have the love of God at heart. My name is Oreolua Adimowo. I'm the firstborn of Archbishop Ephraim Adibola Adimowo. And I wish him happy birthday and many happy returns. I want to use this opportunity to wish Daddy happy 68th birthday. And I'm praying that God will make him to see many more years to come. Good health, long life, and prosperity. I pray God prolong his life so that he can wait and eat the fruit of his labor. And I'm wishing him a happy birthday, many, many more years. And I want to say I sincerely, sincerely do love him. Happy birthday! In his quest for knowledge, the Archbishop enrolled at the University of Ibada for his first degree. He was also involved in the National Youth Service Program. He then proceeded to Bafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, for his master's degree and doctorate degree, respectively. In recognition of his love for books, he was awarded a Fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Letters in the year 2005. The Most Reverend Ephraim Adebola Demoor is a man of exceptional and excellent character. Little wonder everyone that had come across him or worked with him has this to say of him. To talk about the Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Adebola Demoor is to talk about a quality personality, is to talk about an inspirational leader, is to talk about a visionary. And these are qualities that attend a leader, a great leader of vision. Leadership is key to any human endeavor. Where there are no good leaders, there are no visions. And where there are no visions, people lose direction. His personality actually made me to shiver because he has a very intimidating personality, uh, very neat very neat and very sensitive. He will listen carefully to every word that you utter and he will mark it, digest it. And so actually that made me to shiver a little bit. But after moving closer to him, I discovered that he is a loving father, a loving father, an understanding father. And he always wants the best for the youth. In the ministry, as we call it among ourselves, of chaplaincy as case study. Uh, Papa had influenced us so much in that he has planted consciousness in us. He is a stickler for excellence, a stickler for uh, detail. is a meticulous person. In fact, he describes himself as a student of perfectionism. But I don't describe him as a student of perfectionism, rather I describe him as a practitioner of perfectionism. And so, if you try to run in his steps, you have no reason to uh, run away from him because he does not waste time to reward excellence. At the same time, he will uh, reprimand uh, laxity, carelessness, and uh, carefree attitude. Serving under Papa as a chaplain has taken me to a higher height. I was discussing with one of my brothers recently that all the time I've been in school is more than being a university because Papa Demo himself, our own Papa, he himself is uh, a teacher, a father, first a father a teacher and uh, a manufacturer of English because he himself 
whenever if you move closer to him you learn new things from him so he has actually built me up and uh, I really really enjoy serving as his chaplain up till now I enjoy serving as his chaplain I've learned among others to dress properly he wouldn't play with dressing and that is why in his language he said you must be meticulous and then I've learned to behave like him. I see him as a role model. And if somebody is your role model, you behave like him, you talk like him, you walk like him. Even though it's an institution, it's sincerely an institution. And like I was discussing with one of my friends concerning his grace, the Archbishop, that is an institution, a university that you don't want to pass out from that university. He He's a father. He's very friendly. He is a kind of leader whom one can follow because he's a leader with example. If you want to know what it means to be a disciplined Christian, I think you need to know uh, Bishop And uh, Well, in spite of that, those of us who uh, knew him for what he stood for. We loved him for that. And we even tried to follow his uh, good examples. Uh, his grace as a man of discipline, a man who is committed to his calling as a priest, as a pastor, as a shepherd. And as far as I have experience. He embodies all this. He prays for you, for his priest. He shows love to people around him. And he also disciplines a client is the priest if we go out of the way. He's concerned about the welfare of all those who work with him and under him. He, he looks very simple, but he is somebody who knows what he's about. And as a leader, he knows how to get uh, people to do the things that he wants them to do. An exceptional planner. Organizer. I would love to say, without meaning to be uh, funny, that the most reverend doctor at the is simply an unrepentant, meticulous administrator. Everything just has to be dead right. Dead right. He has impacted my life and ministry a great deal. It was from him that one learned the great virtue in being prepared for a king to any service. I recall with great relish our years together in a Jabu Jesha. It was Jabu Jesha was not at least an hour's drive from Ilefe, but it was always a pleasure to take the drive because one knew every Sunday. One was going to learn something. One was going to gain something spiritually. Before any service, the one surrendered to Akimawa would have written everything down in total. If he had to take the call to worship, he would write everything down. He was never going to read it, but he would have put everything down. Prayers, the, uh, the creed to the college and the intercession. Every point will be jotted down. And it made such an impact on me that one has actually fashioned one's ministry largely after his commitment and preparedness for service. I want 
to thank him very much for what he had been and what he continues to be to us. I pray God will grant him long life and further accomplishments and successes and even greater heights in his uh, Episcopal ministry in Jesus' name. And I pray we will end it all in the kingdom of God. I wish you, sir, a very happy birthday and a good health and longevity for you to enjoy the fruit of your labor. I wish him very many happy returns. I pray that when he's 100, I will be there too. In recognition of his numerous contributions to national development, the Executive President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Alaji Umaru Musa Yoradua, conferred on Archbishop Ademowo the national honor of Officer of the Order of Niger. This is a testimony to the fact that Archbishop Ademowo is a man of all people and embraces all, regardless of tribe and creed. You know, there's something about my husband. He doesn't believe he's from Ijebu, but you will not hear him saying I'm from Ijebu. He just sees you as human being, as a creation of God Almighty, and he will take to you and love you. He is such a detribalized man that he doesn't see anybody as coming from whether east or west or north. He has this good relationship with whoever that comes his way. The most reverend Dr. Ephraim Adebola Ademowo is widely traveled. He has been to many countries around the world on evangelistic mission and had also made a lot of friends everywhere he went. On July 29, 2008, our daddy, the most reverend Adebola Ademowo, clocks the diamond age of 60 and encomium and prayer wishes flow. It's been 60 quality years of meaning, 60 years of affection, 60 years of love shared to all, 60 years of concern for improving humanity, 60 years of commitment to excellences and nothing short, 60 years of insistence on quality, never wanting to compromise anything, always wanting to be above board, being upright, even when it is very difficult in society, and society begins to even look at you as being the odd one out. Insistence on quality ensures that great minds will keep on keeping on because that is the way to greatness. I wish him a very, very splendid 60th anniversary, a happy diamond jubilee, and many years in good health, greater achievements, greater feats, not only for his immediate environment, but for the world at large, because we are convinced that he has a great role to play in influencing and shaping the course of the new world order. And I'm sure he's one of those great people that God has thrown at us to say, here is somebody whose life has a meaning, who gives life meaning, and who is going to do something meaningful for the future. Happy anniversary. Archbishop Adebola Ademowo, not join me, July 29, thank you, got out lorukọ <laughs> Jesus, 
don't go there, so we still do our own. Great. I must say that he has done a lot to build the Anglican Church up, Anglican Church communion worldwide. Being an international man, I must say that is a gift, a divine gift to us, a divine gift to Church of Nigeria, a divine gift to Anglican communion worldwide. He has done a lot. And my prayers is that he will live long for us because we still want him around us. We, th we still need his leadership. This icon of a man we are talking about here, the most reverend Dr. Ephraim Adibola Ademowo, is an inspiration. And we wish him well in all his undertaking. This is just the beginning. The fact that he's now 60 doesn't mean that he should go and rest. He should tighten his belt, buckle up his shoe, and uh, move on in the strength. He should not dwindle. He should be encouraged. Despite all odds, I believe God is taking him to a higher height and he will definitely get there. We wish him happy birthday, many happy returns, longevity, good health, and every good thing that he deserves in life. He loves the church and he's very committed to the Anglican communion. And he guards the Anglican way of life, the Anglican way of worship, in fact, everything Anglicanism regards very, very jealously. Its highest quality, as far as I'm concerned, is that of his concern for people, particularly the, uh, the lowly placed one. And I do cherish that a lot. As I've said earlier, a disciplined man, a committed man, a man who is very punctual, does not play with time. With him, there is nothing like African time. And that is a sign of being disciplined and being organized. On this is 60th birthday, I wish him all the very, very best. And I pray that God will continue to bless him and God will continue to watch over his family and gladden his heart. And. Uh, I take this opportunity also to congratulate him on the birth of his grandson, uh, who took place. It happened very recently. God bless the Adimo family. Amen. And here goes the mother's prayer for loving and caring son. <laughs> Appreciating a loving and caring husband for an undiluted love, our mama, Mrs. Yabo Lua Finroti Ademowo, has this to say. I want to say this today, Ademowo Ademowo, that you are a gift to me. I bless the name of the Lord that you walked into my life, and since then it has never been the same. I can't thank God enough for making it possible for me to meet you. And I want to pledge and promise you that if Jesus comes, I will be loyal to you. I will continue to support you. I pray that God will give me the grace I will continue to pray for you. You will not fail, you will not fall, you will not falter. As the Lord liveth, you will grow old, and you will enjoy your day in good health, in joy, in peace. You have been a pillar. You have been so supportive. You have been a blessing to me. You know you are my daddy, and not just my husband. You are my friend. You are my confidant. You are everything that God has made you to be to me. 
and I pray for you shall be well with you. You will live every inch of your day in joy and you will not miss the mark. My desire for you and its utmost in my heart is that you will reign in with Jesus Christ in eternity and so shall it be for you. I want to say today that I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And God knows that I appreciate you and heaven knows that, that I appreciate you. And I believe that God will reward you with everything that is good. My good Lord will reward you. I love you. And I pray that the remaining years that the good Lord will give you, that I will be with you because it's your desire that when you grow old, you will first of all go. It's, uh, it's something that I don't always want to respond to, but I know it's a good wish. God will answer it for you. And by the grace of God, when you are very old and you go back to the Lord, if the Lord tarries, I promise I will hold the fort very well. And I pray for you that this bad day you are celebrating, the Lord will use it to begin something great and mighty in your life. And I pray for your ministry. Your ministry will not experience dryness of anointing. Your anointing will never run dry. These diocese of Lagos will continue to grow from strength to strength. And the Lord will enlarge your coast. I pray that you will continue to be relevant all the days of your life. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that people have been honoring you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless the Lord for you and I wish you happy birthday. Together with everybody around the world, all of us at Lagos Diocesan Women and Girls Organization wish our Baba, who is an epitome of scholarship, a man of deep spirituality, an advocate of justice, a voice for the voiceless masses, a family man par excellence, a doting father and loving husband, a protagonist of practical Christianity, and above all, a tireless and committed servant of God, more years of fulfillment and God's blessing in his vineyard. And so we say... <laughs> In the course of putting this documentary together, I've had so many good and overwhelming comments made about His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Adibola Adimowo. My conclusion is that it's a rare privilege to have had contact with this great man of God, a man of very high integrity, focused, consistent, undaunting about ideals. We such a great man of God for, uh, for anybody to have uh, known, a mobile encyclopedia, and above all, a loving pastor and a caring father. Daddy, I want to say that it's a rare privilege to have met so many people who have made so many good comments about you, which corroborates my own opinion of you. On behalf of myself and members of this crew, Kunde Komolafe, of Comson Studios behind the camera, Jerome, who has been driving us all over the place. I want to say, Daddy, we really appreciate you. I will thank God for this privilege of meeting people who have known you over the years. And on behalf of the Women's and Girls Organization, Women's and Faith Voices and Drama Group, I want to say happy birthday to you. Now say, Daddy, I'm really proud of you and I love you.